and you're slowly going to be pressing into the clay and pulling it up. Okay. But really slowly with every rotation, okay? Okay. That's how you pull up. <gasps> Not exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> I am here at the Clay Lady campus getting my hands dirty and I love it. This is the place where artists come from near and far, they're local, they're from all around the country, and they get to be creative here in this large, large campus. Um, Lindy Rutledge is, is, is trying to teach me the skill of actually making a clay pot, and this is where folks are gonna be able to come this Saturday uh, yes. to buy gorgeous cups that have been made here by local artists. Yes, in this exact same way, and that's what's so fun, I think, about the Cups of Co-Opportunity event that we have. Yes. As you can see, there's so many different variations of, you know, you ha everyone is given the same piece of clay. Right. Everyone is given the same glazes, but yet all the mugs and cups look so different. Well, it's gonna take a little bit of extra skill for me, <laughs> um, but I love this so much and the fact that this does go to benefit a great cause. At the actual event, folks will be able to come and pick out a cup or a mug of their choosing, put a little hot chocolate in it, and then what else are they gonna be able to do? We're gonna have lots of fun games. The campus is gonna be completely open so people can come and check out the studios that we're currently in. They can check out the rest of the campus and see artists working in their studio space. They can see the wood kilns and the gas kilns. We're gonna open them up so people can actually pick out a mug fresh out of the kiln, which is a pretty cool experience. So what are these numbers all about? Oh my goodness, John Salesberg is one of the featured artists here and you're gonna be helping to fire up the kiln. I am, so this is our wood kiln here on the Clay Ladies campus. These numbers are, the, it's the door. This is how we brick up That's the door. That's the door. This keeps the fire from coming out. So when folks actually come uh, down to campus, they'll get to watch you do it. So we will, we will have the, the, the door unbricked and they will see all the pots lined up in there, ready to be unloaded, possibly still warm. Yes. And this is actually what they look like. It's a real natural surface. It's a um, all caused by the flame. So when you see something like this, you have to know that a lot of hard work's gone into making it. I think when people pass by the campus, they have no idea how large this space is. It goes on and on and on. I know, I can't tell you how many times people say, oh my gosh, I had no idea you were here. I had no idea it was this large, it was this big. We have artists that make things out of wood, we have painters, jewelers, um, folks that are working with glass, all types of mediums. So our gallery, we have a wonderful art gallery that's a great place to buy gifts from local artists. They're all handmade. You know, I think I should probably stick to my day job. <laughs> We have a class every night of the week, yeah. Monday through Friday. We have a couple classes during the day, and then we have um, sculpture classes as well in the evenings and stained glass. So, so we have like over 200 students a oh week. Oh my goodness, over 200. Yeah, our classes are nine weeks, okay. and that's very intentional because yeah. it takes a long time. There's well, many so steps in the my process. My one class, I'm doing pretty good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next year I can have one of my mugs. <gasps> That's such a great idea. <laughs> that would be awesome. That is a great goal. One of my mugs could be in the Cups of Co Opportunity. I think it'd Don't be you awesome. love that? I well, do. we'll make sure we put all the information okay. about the Cups of Co Opportunity event here yes. at the Play Ladies Campus on Saturday, yes. the 24th, yes. on our website at nichechannel5.com. Yes. That's fantastic. Okay, well, I love it. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> Have you ever done that? I have not. I've always wanted to yeah. try, but I haven't either. So now I know where to go. Exactly. Coming up real soon, as a matter That's of fact. That's right. Hours are 730 to 1130 Saturday morning. Each mug will be $25 with proceeds benefiting Borderless Arts. It's a nonprofit that provides art to people with disabilities. Fantastic. Neat. Yes, definitely. All right.